Now, many of you are probably confused about labels when it comes to antibiotic use, and you're not alone because a lot of these labels are confusing. So I'm gonna start by just showing some of the conventional labels, and then we're gonna move on to show some of the labels that you should be looking for. Now, one of the labels that you might see a lot of is uh, all natural. And all natural, when it comes to antibiotic use, really has no meaning, no legal meaning, and cannot be relied on to, to mean that there were no antibiotics used. Um, this one has an interesting label because it actually has a claim regarding antibiotic use, but it's not the one you're looking for. This one says, with no antibiotics used for growth promotion, um, antibiotics used only for treatment and prevention of illness. Now that sounds like a good thing, right? So they're not using antibiotics to make these animals grow faster, and they're only using them to treat sick animals or maybe to prevent illness. But what we know is that that's a major loophole for antibiotic use in this industry where animals are often made sick just by the way they're raised, and so antibiotics can be used routinely every flock or every herd of animals. And so that's not a label that I would be looking for. So this pork product uh, also has this all natural claim. Again, no meaning when it comes to antibiotic use. Um, this one has a few claims on it. This one has the label that says uh, all natural. It says no growth promotants. So basically they don't use the antibiotics to make the animals grow faster, but they can use them for any other purposes. It also has this claim here. This one's kind of funny because it says no added steroids or hormones. And if you follow the footnote, it actually says that they're not allowed to by federal law. So now that we've covered some of the confusing labels, um, let's move those aside and let's go on to some of the clear labels when it comes to antibiotic use. So we bought a couple of products that have very clear labels and uh, in fact are the labels that we would recommend you look for when you go to the grocery store. So here's a package of uncured pepperoni and you see uh, this one has a number of claims regarding nitrates and uh, how the animals were raised. They also have this uh, no antibiotics used. That's a very clear label saying that the animals that were raised to make this product were raised without antibiotics. Um, here's a package of ground beef. Uh, this is 100% organic ground beef. And just by looking for that organic label, you know that those, uh, those animals were raised without antibiotics. But this also has the additional claim of saying no antibiotics ever, a very clear label. Here's a package of, of sausages, and they say very boldly on here, again, no antibiotics ever. They even have a little exclamation mark. That's nice. Um, that's a USDA-supported uh, claim regarding antibiotics. And here's a package of bacon, one of my favorite food groups. And here you see uh, no antibiotics ever. Again, very clear labels. So we have examples of unclear, confusing labels, and we have examples of very clear labels that you should look for in the grocery store. And if you go to our website, you can learn about all the different clear labels you can look for.